Harry Seething has been mocked by King Charles in a London concert two miles away from the High Court. This is how just Harry, who hates being royal, insisted on being addressed as Your Royal Highness and Prince Harry in court. Prince Harry's statement, which runs to 26,789 words, is about twice as long as The Great Gatsby, another tale of a miserable rich man trying to find this place in the world. But for all its length, the statement packs a punch. Harry denounces what he sees as the causally intertwined relationship between the press and our politicians. This was strong meat indeed, and little wonder that MGN, represented by Andrew Green KC, fought back robustly in court. Green offered what appeared to be the expected noblesse obliged due to members of the royal family. Even assembly detached one referring to him at Harry's barrister David Sherbin's behest as your royal highness and Prince Harry. Yet his line of questioning represents quite the most combative interrogation that the Duke of Sussex has faced in several years, possibly ever. The 55-page statement was released as he began giving evidence in the dispatch box. In the statement, Harry refers to his father as His Royal Highness King Charles III. However, the correct title is His Majesty King Charles III. As a member of the royal family, it's a surprising error for the Duke of Sussex to make. Prince Harry also slams the UK government as rock bottom and his witness statement. In May, Prince Harry lost his security battle against the Home Office. It seems that how he's still trying to cling to the influence and glory of the royal family to his advantage in this trial. However, the royal side didn't say anything about this incident. Each of them has their royal duties. This case could take up to six weeks and in the same period that how he's fighting in court is two miles away and only a ten-minute driveway. King Charles is having fun at a special concert. The concert organized by Whitmore Hall, took place at St. James's Roman Catholic Church in London on Tuesday evening. The concert featured all four coronation anthems by George Friedrich Kendall, including Zadok the Priest. The pieces were performed by a leading French Baroque ensemble, the concert spiritual, and conducted by Herve Nickett. During the concert, Charles presented Judith Weir, Master of the King's Music with Honorary Membership of the Royal Philharmonic Society in recognition of the services to music. The theme of the concert will, of course, be about dedication to the people and praise of the country, highlighting patriotism and loyalty. This will be considered the strongest kick for Harry. The King also met several guests throughout the evening, including BBC Radio 3 controller Sam Jackson and Rabbi Baroness Julian Neuberger, G. Neighbor and Dr. Kadita Cannon Mason, and musicians of the Concert Spiritual. The concert began with the fanfare and performance of the national anthem sung by British baritone Roderick Williams. Tuesday's event is the first in a series of Wigmore Hall concerts taking place at the venue, allowing artists associated with the organization to stage larger-scale performances. The next concert in the series features more Hall Baroque Ensemble and resident Solomon's Knot, performing Backstreet Matthew Passion on Monday, the 19th of June.